Hello and welcome to the Mega Bread Van channel. I'm trying to be flashy, I'm drinking a nice uh, cup of tea and uh, filming at the same time. Getting very clever. Just trying to trip over. So, yeah. Um, so, what we're going to tackle today? Um, well, today we're going to tackle the front of the van. But first of all, before I start, I just want to say sorry for the mess in our garage. Um, it looks like we've been burgled, but we haven't. It's just that I've um, basically destroyed all the furniture that was in here. Um, and it's going to be replaced with slightly s smaller and better furniture so we can actually fit the van into the garage now and again. Because the problem is, is that being outside all the time, the elements get to it and it deteriorates. And they're quite fragile, these uh, some permi. So it's nice to be back doing stuff on the van again. Um, there's a load of Sahara sand on the on the bonnet here. It's brilliant. But uh, yeah, it's lovely and, and sunny today. So it's motivating to do a bit more work on here. It's been a little while, really. So um, yeah, the, the thing I need to do now is to actually fit the front on temporarily so that I can measure the rest of it. Uh, uh, for what goes next, really, for what needs to be fitted onto the front, which I'll explain uh, as we go along. So the main issue at the moment is the is this bit here, really, because um, as you can see, there's been, or rather, I've made a few attempts to try and drill through there to to make a hole, and uh, the problem with that is that this doesn't quite line up properly. The other two holes are fine. But um, when I tried putting the, the front on some weeks ago, uh, probably over a month ago now, um, it wouldn't fit. So in one of my last videos, one of the more recent videos, I fitted these rubber strips. The idea being that that replaces the glue that was there because it was about that thick on the panel. And uh, the idea also being that because the panels tend to vibrate a lot uh, when you start the engine up and when you drive along, depending on what speed you're going, um, it, it does a lot of that. So, uh, so the rubber's there to stop that and also to, to make it so that when I take the panel on off, I'm not destroying these holes all the time, um, which isn't ideal. So this hole will have to be probably blocked up at some point so I can redo it um, I need to put some more rubber here because that is out of alignment obviously because you've got a hole there and the hole is actually here but uh, you learn these things as you go along I don't know whether anyone's actually done um, this sort of thing made this panel so it is removable so we'll have to see but first of all I need to to find the, um, the various uh, bolts and things that need to to fix the front on I can't remember where I've put them. So for now, what I'm going to do is to use the, the small holes on the side of the panel. So that involves using one of these Allen key bolts. Um, just put that there. I don't want it to go onto the, onto the floor. Uh, and then I've got a metal washer. And it's infuriating So I bought some new washers that are actually stainless steel. These ones rust. So they're going to be temporary as well. Uh, but I, I did find the, what we call, or what I call, rather, top hats. So that's a little rubber doodad like that. And you've got a, a thread in the end. The idea being that the, the bolt goes through and squashes that slightly so that it... Um, stays so it's not actually a nut okay so I can undo it and put it back on without having to use a spanner behind the mud guard the main issue is that um, on the side of the panel down here you've got um, this hole uh, and that's a specific bolt that, is, that was actually uh, fitted by AXAM and obviously I had two of them and they've both gone missing I don't know where they are. So that's really annoying because if I can't find them, it means I have to buy some new ones. And um, I don't think they're that expensive. But it's just the inconvenience of actually having had 
proper bolts and now they've gone missing. But to go on those bolts, I've also bought some time ago now, I couldn't open the bag with uh, one finger or one hand, two fingers, whatever. So I also bought some of these to go on the bigger bolts and they're twist on um, things. So that as well, you're not going to need a spanner. Now, you'd say with the vibration that would come undone, but I've got some Loctite, so I'm going to put Loctite on all of the bolts. It sounds a bit complicated, really, because already we've got six six bolts holding on just one part of the front panel. But I think that that's going to be the way forward. But I've also got two bolts to hold on the front here at the top. So I need to find those. Um, I think they were smaller bolts. Also rubber washers because the holes were a bit destroyed. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the way forward there. But then I need to fit something at the bottom. But I'll tell you about that once I've got the panel on. So I'll fix the bolts in temporarily. I haven't tightened them up yet or anything. But uh, as you can see, I've put if I bring in here um, a rubber washer this side. And then we've got the top back the other way around. It won't it won't fit otherwise because the the thread is the other side. It's this side. But when I fit it um, sort of on the sides of the panel, so in these holes here, then I'll turn it the other way around because the screws, or rather the bolts, are actually longer. So I just need to tighten up uh, those really. Let's see if it works actually because I want to see if I can tighten up the bolts without actually using a spanner let's see what we what happens so obviously I need to hold that side until it takes up some play I might need to put a washer in front actually because it's digging into the rubber so we'll, we'll see about that anyway but it's only temporary it's not going to be permanent uh, that one's not taking up very well uh, okay so so the idea being that I don't need to... Ah, it's the actual rubber that's turning around on the thread. That's not ideal. So that's come unstuck. It appears that the it's tight anyway. So I'll probably need to look at gluing that. The other one's okay. That's not coming off. It's not going to go anywhere. So I think that's the job done there. So now I now need to do the sides. So this is where the fun begins because I just realised that the the holes um, don't actually line up very well because the rubber is slightly out of sync. Um, but uh, I'll do the middle one first and then I've got to put my hand underneath here, underneath the mud guard, to push that through. So I'm doing the same as on the, the mountings that go under the bonnet and it will help if I had the right size Allen key. That's no idea either. So different, two different sorts of Allen key. That's not useful. So different Allen key. I think I'm going to have to change the other bolts, obviously, because it's a bit silly having two different sized Allen keys. So I can feel the top pad is collapsing on the other side, but it's not tight. I think I'm going to have to just... It seems to hold. I think with a bit of lock to it, it'll, it'll be okay. So now I've got to try to line up the other holes. That's going to be fun. So with all that messing about, uh, I've succeeded in breaking the the panel. Uh, a little bit of plastic's just fallen off. So all that mucking about trying to repair the holes and things was uh, completely pointless, really. And uh, I feel a bit of a twit, really. That's the, the one I've broken, which is uh, at the top there but it holds pretty well. So that's all three bolts uh, put on. You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it like that because um, the last bolt, um, well, it's not that much out of alignment, to be honest. If you look up close here, um, I was worried about this, actually, this bit sticking out, but, you know, frankly, uh, with the bolts in place, it's it's okay. I mean, you can see a bit of rubber there, uh, but I think that'll be fine. Um, it's all glued down well. It's not going anywhere. And the idea really is to repaint this black. So you're going to have black 
even with the black paint here, I'm going to try to mask off the rubber obviously, but you'll have black paint here, so you won't actually notice this this join so much with the paint there. So yeah, I think that's it. that's uh, jobs are good and that will do. The idea is to put this on the bottom of the the front panel, and I've slightly bent it by pushing it onto the protection bar at the front here, so it, it fits more or less. So I'll just uh, bring you over here a little bit so you can see. If I put this up against the panel, you can see that it's fairly flush. So the next thing will be to um, alter the, the brackets at the bottom um, so that I can eventually drill holes in this and drill holes in the front panel. The only problem is I'm going to have to take the panel off again to, to do that. So I bought this nice set of uh, Allen keys and uh, see if we've got the right one. So what I need to do now is basically, well in fact what I was thinking of doing is to undo these two top bolts here so that I can just turn this top bit around rather than taking the, the whole thing off. But you know it might not uh, might not be that easy. Come on, Dolly. Come on, babe. Come on. Come on. You're the star of the show. Hey, want to be the star of the show? Come on, let's go. Dolly sort of does what she wants. She's not very obedient. But she's good company. Aren't you, Dolly? Hey. Hey, babe. Girl, come on. Hey, Tivia? Hey, Pasio. Not sure. I think she can stay there. You coming? Oh, I've got to go on with some work. I've ended up changing plan completely here yeah, because uh, the brackets have to go the other way around and also horizontally. So it's going to make life interesting because I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use a I've got a corner bracket, um, I've got some corner brackets sorry, that I bought, uh, funnily enough, for putting a shelf into the house. That was a bookcase actually, not a shelf. Um, so the idea being that that will go along the bottom. So it's not very good filming. I'll have to move that down a bit more because it's, uh, that's it. So, a bit fiddly, sorry. Um, so that's enough to go like that, and obviously one of the holes there will be the one that attaches the metal plate, which is going to be riveted to the plastic panel. Even with the bracket in place, you can see the the tire is literally touching the panel almost. And if I put in, I mean it's even splitting there. Look, but I put. Um, um, the bracket where I said then there's going to be about a centimetre clearance so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut out I think some of this bit here this flat bit here inside the mud guard. I mean it never ends does it I mean I've been cutting this panel about and oh, I don't know I'm fiddling around with it quite a bit so that means now I'm going to have to do the other bracket the same as the one I've just shown you so this time I've taken the bracket off completely, um, so it's enough to go up here, like that, at the top here, and be angled, so, well, the other way around actually, because I have to go that way around, like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the other side, and uh, see how far up I have to put this between uh, here, just here, the other side of this pole and down here. So there's a bit of a pig to measure. Whoops, sorry, wobble wobble. So I can't actually see what I should use a tape measure really, but I don't know where I've put it. And I can't really see the measurements very well on this. So finger in the nose, just there. So I'd say that is 140 millimetres between the bracket and there, so that means I need to put the other one roughly 140 millimetres up 
and then I'll fiddle around with it to get it right. So that's looking about symmetrical. Um, so actually, if you look at this corner here, it's pointing to roughly five millimeters in. If you look at this side, it's about the same. So the next problem is going to be uh, riveting the panel, the aluminium panel, onto the plastic panel. So I've got the panel, and I managed to find these corner pieces that I use for um, putting a bookcase, or two bookcases, into our place. One in my office and one in the living room. And uh, so I had quite a few of these left over. So the idea is I've marked roughly where um, it's going to be screwed into the bracket. The next job is to, I don't know whether to, to bolt them on or to rivet them on. But the idea is that they line up the bracket and the problem is we've got two holes. So I'm not too sure whether they line up completely. Which will probably mean having to fiddle around with these brackets afterwards. But the idea is, is that I'm going to offer that up to the brackets and then work out where to, to fix it to the panel. So it's a case of fixing the aluminium plate to the brackets and then offering up to the panel, drawing an outline and then seeing where I need to, to rivet it onto the panel. So I've decided to use a riveter and rivet them. This is going to be interesting because I've never used a riveter before, believe it or not. Um, so we're going to see what happens. Um, in a minute uh, I found, I think I'll put this one in because otherwise I'm going to drop them. So I found my rivets, so they're just about the right size. And handily, uh, with the, the set here, you've got some drill bits with it as well. So that's quite good. So we're back to it again. It's a few days on. Been moving furniture around. A bit apprehensive about what I need to do next because the brackets, um, as you saw, um, well, just before this um, are not quite uh, at the right angle so the rivet I'm going to use is a 4.8 rivet so that's that and helpfully uh, hang on I've got two drill bits here here's the other one helpfully they provide a 4.9 drill bit with the kit so I'm going to use a smaller drill bit first of all just to to, to start off the hole because I'm not very, not very experienced at drilling into aluminium. I've already sort of like bent it to to fit the the panel. So I'm going to try and drill a small oops small hole. That's not going where I want it to. Not drilling very well for some reason. It's probably not fast enough. Well, I think that's safe to say it's broken. <laughs> I think I've got bulletproof aluminium. Drilling through it, but it's uh, oh, I need the more powerful drill, I think, because this is this is getting really silly. It just goes to show that it is drilling. It's just it's very slow. The last thing I want to do is break another drill bit. So let's see if that's going to do the job. I think that's going to be just about it. It's not very easy to not film with my arm in front of the camera. No, I think that's not going to work. I plan to put a smaller rivet in there. And the 4.8. So I think we'll turn that round and I'll spare you the, the pain of me doing the two of the holes. So, holes are drilled. 
one drill bit dead. So having looked at the uh, the size of the holes compared to, or rather not the size of the holes, the position of the holes compared to the corner pieces, realised that uh, they're slightly out of alignment. So that's that's uh, normal for me. I always get things out of alignment when I'm doing DIY, but uh, means I use a smaller rivet. So I think it, we should get away with it. Um, so on the kit, which is, um, I'll just put them down. So this is the kit that I've got. Um, it's called a Presh. I don't know whether it's uh, particularly well known, but um, the good thing with this is it gives you all the sizes on the piece of card that's on the inside. So I'm looking at doing, um, let me have a look. So at the start it was 4.8, so I'm going to give it a try to the 4mm rivet and see if that would be any good. So the good thing with it is that um, you get a sort of little spanner thing, if I can just slide it out here, that tells you which rivet to use. So that basically then tells you which of these you need to use. So you've got uh, 2.4, 3.2 and 4. So the 4 is the last one. So if I take my, everything's going to go on the floor, isn't it? There we are. If I take my 4mm rivet that fits in there, I don't see, quite see the point of that, really. Um, well, I suppose it saves you looking at the actual, there's nothing on the rivet to tell you what it is. Ah, okay, so I see now. So, yeah, see if you've got your rivet, to save you looking at the piece of card, which is what I've just done, then you've got this little size thing, so you, you put your rivet in the hole and it tells you what size it is. So, yeah, that's pretty good. In for an idiot like me. I've got my four rivets, which I'll put on there, so I don't drop them on the floor. So what I need to do now is basically undo this last one and replace it with this one. So I think I'll do that and come back to you. I've got the 4mm nut put on there. Now this is where I try not to rivet thing that things the wrong way round. Um, so apparently you put the thin bit of the rivet in there. Uh, so we want the actual head of the rivet to go on the outside of the panel, which is the bit that's patterned. So that means I need to... Can't even see what I'm doing. So I need to put that this way round, like that. And then rivet it from the other side, I think. That's slipping out of the hole, so that's really helpful. So, uh, and I'm throwing it on the floor. I'm trying not to throw that on the floor. Ooh. Ah, candid person. I'm worried that if I start riveting it like that, then the other hole's going to be out of alignment. So this is going to be a bit fiddly. I need another hand. I should do this on a flat surface. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my knees, bring the camera down so you can't see my ugly mug, and you can see what I'm doing. So, it be better if I do that. So, slip that on there, and try to push it so that it doesn't go too out of alignment. I'm hoping that the 4mm is going to fit in the hole that's left because I'm trying to line up the second hole while I'm doing this and say so that you've got to do this until it snaps hmm. that's weird because I've got the impression that it's not it's not holding on very well it's weird um, being that close to the camera you can see that this is supposed to actually open out again I think but it's not so it's riveted that side and this side it's gone a bit weird but it's not moving but I guess well it's not moving it's sliding 
Oh well done, I just want to slid it out of out of alignment. It's rather to put myself on the aluminium if I'm not careful. And that's slide out. Right, we'll try and do the other hole and hopefully that will be a bit easier to do. Nice if the microphone cable didn't get in the way as well. At least I switched it on this time. That's a bit better. It's not quite. It's not quite fixed how I wanted it to. As long as it doesn't move, that's the main thing. I mean, it's not. It's not going to come off. I don't think. I think that'll be okay. So I'll get on with doing the other side. And I'll come back to you. So I had a bit of a trying time uh, because uh, I'm useless at uh, working with metal, which is hilarious because my dad uh, was a CNC machinist and worked a lot with metal. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't pass on anything that uh, he did to me, really. Um, he started out as a pattern maker for engine components back in the 60s working in Nuneaton of all places so he was very skilled with wood and metal and I'm not so uh, yeah basically I've put in a rivet and tried to get it out again broke another drill bit and it's com in completely the wrong place so I'm hoping that if I put in a four millimeter rivet there I'm putting a smaller rivet at the top to try to compensate but I think that these don't think these are going to bend very much either so yeah well we'll do that anyway because I mean I can't really do much else um, all the drill bits I've got are, are not metal ones and the only metal ones that I had were the ones that came with this and I've broken two of them already uh, so obviously either I'm an idiot or the drill bits aren't very good plus I dropped my microphone on the floor I've dropped my ruler on the floor and um, I didn't throw them on the floor, I just, they just dropped on the floor. So I'm recording this without the microphone, the external microphone anyway, the microphone on the camera. So yeah, so we'll, we'll try and do that I think. So that's a, a 4mm one. And um, I think I will try and do the bottom one first. Because that is actually actually half decent and of course I'm putting the rivet in the wrong way around oh, God. well I'll have to do it the wrong way around now so well at least that's going to hold but it's the wrong way around anyway oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cack handed today I tell you I'm really am and that isn't lined up at all. Uh, anyway, I'll get one of the smallest rivets if I can get out of my chair. That's a small rivet, and what's that going to do? Well, of course, it's not going to go all the way through because, because of course, there's a bit of rivet left. Ah. So um, I fitted the brackets or either the corner pieces, the corner brackets, onto the brackets that are on the protection bar and they both line up on both sides, so that's good. Amazing, after all that faffing about, we've got there. So, the next thing is going to be pulling this, this panel forward so it lines up with this and then marking where it goes on the panel and it's it's more or less in the middle. Whoops! So I just hit you on the protection bar. I'm so sorry about that. So yeah, it's more or less in the middle. But uh, then I'm going to have to drill holes in this again, which will be fun. And to drill some holes in that again, I'm going to have to buy some metal-friendly drill bits because I haven't got any. So the drill bits I'll have to get. Well, I'll probably get a pack, but. Uh, ideally the uh, 4 millimeter, 4.1 millimeter, 4.9 millimeter, depending on which uh, rivet I end up using. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to order those. So for the time being, I'm going to mark out where the panel goes. The aluminium panel, that is, goes on the dash panel. So as to give you a better view of uh, what I'm going to do, um, if I pull this panel forward, it's not quite lining up. Well, I'll just mark out where the panel goes on this panel. The aluminium panel goes on the plastic panel, that is. And hopefully that will be okay. I'm also going to put some rubber on the back of this and use washers for the rivets because obviously if I put metal into plastic, it's going to split. On the inside, there'll have to be some rubber there too to try to cushion the, um, the washers because otherwise they'll just break the plastic. So I'm going to mark uh, where this is going to go. So if I pull that forward, that I might need some help. So I've got a little help with me because I've only got one pair of hands and the idea is to try to pull this forward so that I can draw um, around the panel. So if you can come to the side of the camera, little helper, and then I can trace a mark here. There, on your fingers. Oops, on the side of the camera. I think that's marking. There. Then, there. And then up here, which is off, off the limit of the camera. I can't see what I'm doing. That's okay, I can, I can do it. Is to pull the panel. Um, hang on. Um, I'll go around the other side. <laughs> That'll be easier. <laughs> you just pull the panel again. And then I can... Do that. Let's turn the camera up. So this is going to be a bit of a pain because for some reason I can't seem to get there we are. There we go. Thank you, little helper. So it's been a while since uh, I actually um, worked on the van for one thing and uh, videoed that. So um, I think it was the end of March when I last left off. So we've had some very, very hot weather and it's been approaching uh, 30 degrees. We've had some thunderstorms, we've had loads of other things going on, moving furniture and so on, uh, back and forth between the our house and the house next door uh, which is house number two now and so that means that um, although Mega Bread Van's been used to move furniture I've not actually got on with getting this front panel sorted out so that's going to be the next part of the video and hopefully the last bit and I'll be able to share it with you all on YouTube so after the debacle with the the Riveter um, I'm happy that that's going to stay on there okay even if I messed it up on one side but um, I need to drill some holes now and uh, find a way of bolting that onto the front panel. Shaz back. I've gone and had this fall off the the um, 
the bolt where it's like a, a ring with a thread in it so I've had the, the rubber bit fall off that bolt holds that bracket for, from the protection bar onto the bracket I've added, I've riveted to the panel and now I can't get the damn thing off so I'm going to have to find some way of removing that after several expletives and uh, messing about I suddenly realised I've actually got um, this uh, vice here um, and I've forgotten I got it funnily enough that's because I don't spend much time in this garage and I'm not really a very hands-on DIY type of person well unless it's decorating or um, I don't know just normal bog standard things but uh, when it comes to actually making something or trying to manufacture something that's going to work I hope uh, that's not me but uh, anyway the main thing is that I got it off the, the little ring thing that it was attached to and that is now on this vice so I'd love to actually start this film all over again because um, today is actually um, a long weekend so that's why I'm able to get on with something um, in France we have a thing called a pont which uh, means that a uh, um, bridge in English a pont and pont so uh, it means that uh, from Thursday until the weekend well we've got a long weekend and uh, today I must be still in the sleepy holiday mood because so far apart from swearing uh, I've dropped things on the floor my um, selfie stick which is a telescopic thing collapsed now I think we're finally getting somewhere uh, I think the idea is that I actually put the bolt the other way around on here you can see that move that to one side there we go and um, then it will actually close up the rubber and stay put instead of me trying to undo it and it just comes out of the rubber um, you know the little ring thing with the thread comes out of the rubber and it doesn't do anything it doesn't attach anything so I've got my kit of body fixings and we'll try to hunt around and see if I can find one that's not broken and won't start to, to come off like the other one did. I've just noticed something a bit strange in that, I don't know if you can see that on the camera very well, but uh, this hinge here, this bracket, is actually bent, it's actually bent over. So if I put them next to each other, you can see one of them's a little bit curved. I don't know how that's happened, but uh, that's not really good because um, when I fixed it to everything that's likely to deform I can't actually bend it back, it's impossible to bend it back in fact added to that um, I've decided to use the shorter bolts go away fly um, so the shorter bolts with this body fixing but it will be this way round um, but it seems that all, of all the bolts I've got that fit in this <clears throat> the allen hole on the top is of various different sizes um, you've got three different sizes on the, on the top there so that is really annoying because I have to keep getting up to go and get a different allen key to, to check it's the right one um, so this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be so when I get on with fixing this onto this bracket onto the plate which I've got here I'm not going really to show you because I've got my body kit thing open and I don't want to drop everything on the floor because I keep dropping it on the floor today so I don't want to drop anything else on the floor so yeah that's going to be the next thing I'll get that fixed to the to the panel and then we'll take it from there so Madam Mega Bread fans just bought me a tea and I feel a lot better now um, so yeah, so I've, let me just move a few things out of the way so I can show you this properly. Um, yeah, so I've added the bolt just here with the little top hat underneath. And whoops, I just knocked you. Sorry about that. And that hole, it's waggling about because this rivet didn't quite, this top one didn't work, work quite properly. But 
it's not going to come off. The next job is going to be actually putting some holes into into this part of the, the panel uh, so that I can then fix it onto the front panel. So I brought it in a bit closer to the to the panel, and so this will need to to fix roughly there. So it's going to be something like that, which means that it's going to be. I think there's room for two holes, one there, one there, and possibly in the middle as well, and obviously at the other end. So hopefully that will be okay. So I've marked out the the places where I'm going to put holes, and uh, I plan on using another bodywork bolt. But with one of these spring loaded nuts and because I'm going to put rubber behind then I'm hoping that if the, the bolt goes in that way it's going to exert pressure on the rubber and it will stay put so we'll see how that works first of all I've got to drill the holes this time I bought some proper drill bits for metal so hopefully these ones will be the right ones because obviously Earlier in the video you saw me breaking a few of them and uh, I don't think you want to see me breaking any more because it doesn't really, it's not really entertaining is it, let's face it. So I'm not going to film myself drilling the holes uh, because I think you've seen enough of that already. So I've changed my mind about showing you how to, to drill a hole, which you probably know already. So I've basically centre punched um, with a smaller drill bit and normally this should It'll be okay, provided the camera doesn't get in the way. So if I... So it's a question of technique and having the right drill bit. And obviously the drill bits that were supplied... I can't remember what they supplied with now. You'll have to look back in the video. You have to remember this, it was the end of March when I last filmed, so... Yeah. Whoops, bit of reverse first I think. There we go, and then we got nice holes where I wanted them to go. So I had to run around a little bit around the house when trying to find a knife and a hammer. This is the rubber I bought, which I used to do the sides of the panel as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it slightly overlapping because this is very sharp and I'm worried that it's going to actually damage the plastic. So that's with the side of the panel on the front. And I'll do the same the other end. The other end, uh, move the camera, move you a little bit so you can see. So the other end will be the same. And so I've drilled my holes and I'll need to mark the holes on the rubber and punch them. So a few months ago I invested in some of these for cutting out, it's supposed to be for cutting out of leather, uh, it's like a centre punch type thing with a, a sort of blade or sharpened blade around the edge and you've got like a, a slot for taking out whatever you've punched out, but uh, go away plain. Um, I've tried it on leather and it's rubbish, it doesn't work very well, but it works very well on rubber. So I found one of the bolts I'm going to use to attach this to the front panel, this panel, the aluminium panel I mean, and so that's about the right size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out six holes, which I'll show you in a minute, and um, that should be okay then. So you can't see where I've marked it because it's, it's sort of black on black, but I can just about see where I need to put the holes. Rubber's sort of fairly malleable anyway, so if I get it in slightly the wrong place, the, the bolt will still go through. So basically, I've got to use that to to punch a hole. Ah, oh, it has. And there we go. So we've got the bit of rubber in the end there, and I need to find something sharp to push it back out again. And if I just slide you around here, oops wobble wobble and you can see that there's a nice little hole made in the rubber 
So yeah, that's going to work fantastically. So I'll carry on with that, and then the next thing is to do the holes for the panel. So that's the holes marked. Now I'm going to have fun drilling them. So I realised I needed two of these. One for inside, so I've done two. And I can't remember which one it's supposed to go now. Um, I think it was the wider way up. So we can find out when the holes don't line up. So the idea now is to put that on there and then basically I've got to put the bolts through there. So that means I need to find the get two of the bolts for now. So bolt number one. I'm gonna find the holes gonna be too small. I thought I would. Let me just try it in the plastic hole. That's fine. There's no problem with that. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put the rubber on first. Which you can't see because I'm not on the camera. So I'm still trying to get used to this DJI Osmo camera. So, We've got the rubber here, like that. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put each of the bolts in. Hopefully they'll stay. Now you can see it doesn't line up quite there. Let's see. There we go. So the idea is that there's gonna be these two bolts holding on. Then the plastic will be there. And then another rubber on the, on the back. And I'm hoping these bolts are going to be long enough. We'll soon find out. That they don't need to be really long. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to do that. Put all the bolts in to attach the rubber onto the metal. And then I'll apply it to the panel. So we've got the panel on here. A rubber sheet on the outside. That's the dash panel. Then we've got another rubber sheet over the top. And then I'll put these, let's move you across here. I'll put these uh, bodywork spring nuts. So I'm gonna have fun because I need to screw it on. I've not left enough space there. So we we'll see how we go. That can screw on quite easily there. But then I'll have fun when I put the next one on. So we'll see what happens. I think it's a case of trying to make sure one is horizontal. I'll put the other one on. But obviously that's going to turn the, the bolt the other side. But it's just to hold it in place. And I'll turn it over and tighten it up after. So put this one on. So we're going to turn it. It's a bit spring loaded with the rubber. Oh, this is fiddly. It's been fiddly all along actually because I've realised that I need longer bolts. I needed longer bolts rather because the ones I put on before were too small and they wouldn't go through the holes properly because um, when I drilled the plastic I'd left some flash. So that's not going to go on, is it? I think we'll try on an easier one to show you. I'll try on the middle one, I think it might be a bit easier. There you go, move you over here. I'll stick my hand underneath the bolt and see if I can put this one on. This one goes a lot easier and there's enough space finally so that's fine. So I need to get on with doing that, tightening them up and I can think about attaching the panel back onto the van. So here I've made, uh, apart from doing the bottom of the, the panel, I made these two rubber pieces because then I could put one just here on there like that and then another one I'll show you this with the same one anyway another one on there let's try to take those holes because here it's starting to get a bit too big Ooh. well we managed to get the, the front back on um, I'll show you in a minute uh, everything, but um, 
I mean to have a few a few questions in my mind about whether I need to use this method really. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed because uh, the brackets at the bottom of the protection bar are very difficult to put back on again. Um, I mean they, they work okay, it's just oh it's a pain to, to tighten them up because the problem is is that you've got the two brackets either side with um, a bolt through either end and the bracket on one side has got a thread in it in the hole so that when you are tightening it up if you've got the the two of them like this then obviously it's a pain to try to straighten them to then put the the bolt through properly and if you've tightened it up and it's like this then obviously you need to push well the bottom of the front panel up in this case to push this bracket up so it's level with this bracket and you can tighten them up properly so that's that's a bit of a pain really apart from that it's it's sturdy it's not going to fall off well, i hope not and uh, looks okay so i'll give you a quick tour so i've i've put the bolts on the side here and i've realized that um these little top hat things are completely useless I, I think it's like i said i bought some cheap ones and they've all fallen apart the older ones that i had um i'll show you the difference if i can um, the older ones that I had with this kit, the the thread inside is actually quite flush. You know, is there's no sort of like a big thick um, piece of rubber around it. Whereas these, um, I don't think I've got a, a new one to show you as an example really, um, with a thread in it. They're all completely and utterly. Oh, there's one. So, where do I put the other one now? Ah, there it is. Yeah, so that's the one I had with the kit, and this is the one that I bought separately. And you can see that the, the metal is flush with the rubber, and here it isn't. So, when you tighten them up, that's what happens, they fall apart. So, I've used the two, well the four that I've got that uh, don't fall apart because they're the old ones which means I haven't got one in the middle hole and the same the other side so that'll hold for now and then here I've made a rubber sheet with two holes in to try to buffer a little bit the uh, the police are here, the gendarmes sont là with their helicopter anyway no distractions from the gendarme uh, yeah so yeah I made a rubber sort of rubber buffer sheet thing on either side of the, the front there and um, hopefully that'll be okay because the holes were getting a little bit big in the plastic and here if you can see the bracket as I explained to you it's in two halves and if you don't get them straight when you tighten them up and obviously there's a bit of pressure uh, from the from the bottom of this it's heavier with the metal being there so it's a bit difficult to tighten up but uh, it looks a lot better try to get underneath so you can see Bit more with the, the bolts that I've put in and so far it hasn't broken so we will see time will tell so the other snag has been the fact that uh, the wheels were rubbing on the little guard and on this side it's not it's not quite the same as the other the there's a smaller gap so I'm going to get my assistant here to turn the steering wheel to the right you got the keys. So we found the keys and I get my assistant to turn to the right and see what it does and I bet it's going to touch the plastic. Keep going, keep going. Oh it just misses it. But it's not ideal. It just misses it. Is that a full lock? 
I wonder if he'll get away with that. Hang on, stop. Let's try the other side. We need to turn that way. Right, I'm going to turn left. And I think there's a bigger gap this side. But most obviously there's a bigger gap. So I don't know what's happened there. Yeah, so that side, the gap's a lot bigger. So... I don't know what I'm going to do about that for the minute. So, before the battery runs out on my camera, we'll we'll call it a day there, and I think I'll call it a video too. So, um, hopefully, uh, everything will be okay with the um, the brackets and so on. But I'm just got a little concerned about the turning circle and the fact the left-hand front wheel uh, tends to be a bit too seems to be a bit too close to the the mud guard, which is not ideal. So I might have to look at that at some future point and, well, take it for a test drive and see what happens, really. At the moment, I'm rejigging my sights because I don't want to to pay for another host next year. Uh, at the moment, I've got two sites. I've got a site with transport images and another site for Mega Bread Run. And I've decided to put them both together, really. Um, so next year, the site that's megabreadrun.space will cease to be. You can also buy uh, a sticker from... Uh, from this site um, through Teespring um, I'm not going to be having loads and loads of promo items but I thought it would be nice to have a sticker and eventually I'm planning to do some ebooks on buses um, so that would be a new home for those and that will also be on Teespring so take a look take care of yourselves see you again soon bye